I'm actually going to do a serious video now um, to show people who've been asking the temperament um, how bull mastiffs behave, um, how obedient they are, because I did say, as you know, if you uh, give them an inch, they will take a mile, which is absolutely 100% true. Um, so what I'm going to do is without any food at all in my hands, uh, I'm just going to show you how obedient they are, okay? So first of all, we'll go with um, Sasha. Sasha, come here, Dad. You don't have to shout. You don't have to be aggressive or anything like that with them. You just have to be assertive. And I might have to actually separate them if you do this. But Sasha, Sasha, sit. Sasha, sit. Good girl. Bo, Bo, sit. Sit. He's a bit more stubborn, this one. But... He's the, uh, he's the male, okay, one sec. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Right, I'm gonna separate them. Um, I am gonna show you because it's important because we've had a bit of criticism, um, which, okay, you're entitled to opinions and everything, but the dog's his size, um, basically you need to be in control at all times because you are responsible for um, what could be a deadly animal, to be honest, um, like I say. They are like this. Um, some people call them lap dogs. Lap, lap, do lap dogs um, on newer posts, which I found quite funny. Um, it, it's all to do with the owner. If you control the dog and the dog knows that you're the alpha male, you will not get any problems, or you shouldn't get any problems. You can never say never. Um, so, okay, so big man's here now. Bo, sit. Sit. He does, right, okay. What's that? Right, okay, so it's a little bit jumpy at the moment. Not not jumpy upset, just jumpy messing about with it. Right, okay, you can't see me laughing, but I'm being serious, you must understand. Okay, so, bear, sit, 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 ah, sit, sit, poor, other one, ah, sit, sit, stay, stay, sit. Sit. Paw. Other one. Other one. But ah, there you go. Right. Right. Sit. Sit. Stay. No. Get down. Get down. Sit. Sit. You have to understand as well that he's only two. So you have to have obedience. Okay. So good boy. Now a lot of praise there now. Okay. So let me see your back leg. Let me check to make sure there's no sores. Up, 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 up. Good boy. Got to always check the skin on the bull mastiff in between the um, the wrinkles here. And by the way, the wrinkles basically was because the bull mastiff um, was such a stealthy animal um, when they were actually uh, coming up on some an intruder or something. Um, the poachers used to use them, um, and they used, not the poachers, <laughs> the gamekeepers used to use them. And what they did was used to walk slowly with the dog and used to feel here. Now, if the dog was alert and had seen something, then being quiet, that would wrinkle up. So the gamekeeper would actually feel the wrinkles there. And that's what, uh, that's what they were used for. Um... Needs to be brushed twice a day. Well, I brush mine twice a day. You can see the superb condition he's in. Um, but um, the ears as well. I've got to check the ears. Um, I use a, a cleaner on mine. Um, normally about once a week. Once a week, really. Um, and also, between the legs here. I was checking, showing you there. There you go, leg up. Good boy. You have to uh, make sure that's clean as well. Because it can get quite sore between that. Other leg up. Other leg up, other leg up. Good boy. Right, we, we're going to get Sasha in, shall we? Good boy, you 